I'm going to show you how to work with data sources on the web, uh, specifically those accessible via an API. Uh, don't worry about what an API is. For our purposes, it's uh, just a way to work with data on the web. Uh, requests to web resources are, are organized around verbs. Uh, get is one of the most common ones, which is just um, lets us get data. Um, and we can use this uh, in R to uh, get some data from the web. So first, let's uh, load a library called HTTR. So we have HTTR loaded. Um, and so we'll play with a little bit of data from the web. So Public Library of Science uh, has a, an API for so api.post.org. Uh, it lets you search. So this is search. That's the, the method that we're using. And we're using the queue uh, here for query. And then we're saying we want author Ethan White. And then uh, we're saying we want to limit that to uh, one result. So those equals one. And then we want to um, say we want specific type of data, in this case JSON, uh, don't worry about that too much. Um, so anyway, that's the, the data we want to get, so we can, let's um, assign that um, query to a web resource as an object called query, and then we can use that um, get verb that we talked about earlier to um, work with the web resource. And so uh, this get um, function in HTTR asks for a URL to a web resource and we can give it that and uh, execute that function and, and we get some web resources. There's a whole bunch of stuff here uh, that we can uh, break that down. So let's, uh, let's call that resource um, we'll just call it out and then we'll call that again assigning that to an object. Uh, and one of the things that's you want to check with calling a web resource is if, uh, what, what actually happened. So HTTR is this nice function called HTTP status. It gives you, uh, tells you if the, if the request was successful. In this case, uh, it was. So it says OK. Uh, now we can easily get the data out of that by saying uh, there's this function called content in HTTR. We can pass that object out that we did here, uh, pass it to the function content, and we get uh, it automatically extracts the data. So we can assign uh, to call the output of that uh, data, and then we can um, we can get extract data from that. Uh, so let's say we want uh, uh, response uh, docs, uh, and then we want to get that ID. So that gives us the uh, DOI or the result. And we can. Uh, you know, we do a lot of things with DOI in literature. One of the things we can do is go find that on the web. So uh, Crossdress have, has this nice interface where you can put in a DOI, resolves it, and tries to give you um, where that thing is on the web. So here it gives us a link, uh, and we can go to that resource on the web and uh, read, that, read that article on post one. Um, and uh, that's it.